Hi guys, Marion here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my kitchen organization tour. I am so excited to share my new kitchen with you guys and I have definitely seen all your messages asking to see more, so I'm so excited. This is where I do the majority of my filming and my living, so I'm just really excited to share with you guys how I've organized it in our new home. So I'm gonna give you a tour. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Marion. I make videos about being a mom and being a Jewish mom and I would love it if you hit that subscribe button to see more and if you want to follow along with my day-to-day -day life as a mom don't forget to follow me on Instagram okay so let's jump in this is the new kitchen I did not design this kitchen um, we toured the house and it had been updated pretty recently but obviously oh, we didn't do any of that updating but that was part of the reason we wanted to buy this house is we're just not very good at renovations <laughs> like um, I would say the patience and um, anxiety tolerance you need is not my strong suit so we were so excited to find a house that had a kitchen that was updated and in terms of style I don't think I would have picked a kitchen like this if I was designing it this is definitely a more traditional style than like what's popular right now but when we saw the kitchen I just loved it instantly it was almost kind of nice and refreshing because I know if I had designed it myself I would have just done whatever is most popular right now <laughs> so I kind of like that this sort of happened almost kind of accidentally but anyway so that's kind of the background to it there's a few little updates um, that I'm thinking of making so I'll show you guys as we go but those are probably more down the line okay so let's jump in my kitchen organization tour so first I'll just give you guys an overview of the kitchen right there is the playroom which is a huge mess right now because we never haven't really um you know organized it or designed it yet so right now it's just like a catch-all uh there used to be a door right there that we took off so we could like see the kids playing while we're cooking but this is but this is the basic outline of the kitchen when you come into the kitchen we have this gallery wall which is missing a photo and i just wanted to mention this uh, Haberman family uh, like calendar kind of thing. I absolutely love it. I got it on Etsy. I'll link it for you guys, but I love it. Okay, so I'm going to start in this section, which is where the majority of all our dining and cooking stuff is. I'll start in these upper cabinets. This is a kind of a random one, but I've got my all our bottle top lids. If you guys have kids, you know they just accumulate. This is actually pared down, but um, and they're like to go little bottles, some mason jars. Bars. And then up on that shelf is just champagne glasses in an ice bucket. The top shelf is empty, which is a theme you'll see. Um, I always say that minimalism is part of my life. And I know that anyone who looks at this kitchen tour will be like, that's not a minimalist kitchen. But it's to me, it just means I try to keep everything as streamlined as possible so I don't fill up any shelf that doesn't need to be filled up. <laughs> Okay, so moving along, here are our plates and dishes. I actually have some dreams of a charcoal black kind of plate set I hope to get in the near future. We've had this set of china since our wedding. Well, china, but it's our everyday plates. So we have the main ones, the little ones, bowls, and then this is where I keep the kids' plates. Again, I don't have too many. It's one of those things I'd rather just have two and wash them than have a giant collection. And then up on, and then up on these shelves, just some glassware some fancy little dessert bowls and a salad bowl. And then up on the highest shelf is, again, nothing. <laughs> okay, so the first drawer I wanna peek into is this one. These two are my main um, organizing, cooking utensils, drawers. I love having the big open drawer. I've never had this in the kitchen before, so this is a real luxury for us. And all of my, and all of these little containers that you see here are from the container store, so I'll link them below. But I find them really nice for organizing. So this one is like a serving and baking kind of area. These are my serving pieces, can openers, wine openers, ice cream scoops, that sort of thing. And some of my baking stuff measuring cups little bowls in here I've got more baking stuff measuring that sort of thing and then in this one I have our everyday eating stuff so knives forks and spoon normally little spoons will go here I don't know where they all are right now I think I've been drinking a lot of coffee <laughs> straws kids spoons and forks and then this is just some little things I use for making lunches for my son for preschool then below that and over here is my baking drawers by the way these are the baby locks we have i'll link them they're so good you don't need to use any screws or anything to put them on it's all um like 
not stickers, you know, you know what I'm talking about. And you just use this little magnet to unlock them. We keep them everywhere. We have them like hidden in different places. So you can always get to them. The only tricky part is to know where the lock is in your cabinet. Cause if you're like putting the magnet over here, it won't open. But once you remember that it's easy. So these are the baking drawers. I would say this is not as beautiful as it maybe could be, but it's definitely very functional. So I have all the stuff I bake with, sprinkles, chocolate chips, that sort of thing, baking powders, all of that. Back there, I really need to um, kind of figure out these are my, these are my, that's my food coloring little section. So I need to organize that a bit more. Um, and then down here, I love, this is my flour, sugars, Flour, sugar, more sugar, more sugar, all that kind of stuff organized really well. Took out my trusty label maker, made all these, and they're super easy to find and get to when I'm baking. I have another pie pan over there, and I love having these three things together, which makes it super simple. I call this my challah station because I keep my KitchenAid right there. So every Friday, or most Fridays, I try to make a challah. Okay, then under the forks and knives is more baking stuff. In this shelf are all my round pans, my bigger measuring, my KitchenAid attachments, and then down here is a drawer with all of my other square and rectangle trays, cupcake trays, rolling pin, etc. So those are all really nice and easy to get to. Okay, then the last cabinet in this section is our drinkware. By the way, I, this is a funny little story, but when we moved, I was like, oh, I really want like all our soap and paws out on the counter, like looking really cute. And my husband was like, um, no, we have a crazy dog that we can't do that. And I was like, yeah, you're right. So I still wanted it to be cute. And so I put all our little pods in this mason jar but I keep it up here so the baby can't get to it, like no matter what. Um, so in here is just all our daily drinkware wine glasses and then above that if you can see up there are our crystal and nicer drinkware for when we host which hopefully we will get to do again soon i love cooking and hosting and having family and friends over so that's a huge um thing that we're hoping to do in this kitchen okay then let's move on to the island okay so moving on to the island having a giant kitchen island was like the only thing i wanted in this house especially for it to be white marble because i'm taking food photos um, instagram photos and videos for youtube all the time i just wanted that clean blank background so i was so excited to have that and this island has a ton of space in it, it also has a microwave a wine fridge and a ton of other stuff going on so this top cabinet has nothing it has a, a little to go bag for my son's food and one stir which actually doesn't even belong here hold on but i'm sure it will be filled up in no time but right now it's empty then down here i just have tupperware and kind of in keeping with my minimalism aesthetic i really try not to have too much i just have one set of glass tupperware down here and up here are water bottles and i primarily use this little pink swell one um, but that's really it for this cabinet. Then this is our microwave. And then here, this is another one where I always forget. <laughs> I always forget where the baby lock is. These are just our nicer serving platters, usually for Shabbat. I have my main challah cover, the spaghetti bags, and my other main uh, serving plates down here. Then moving along, in here I keep our pots and pans. I like having them up so because I use them every day for like every meal, it's nice not to have to bend down. I also keep my main cleaning products in here and my main cleaning rags in here because I'm like wiping surfaces all the time. I didn't want to have to be bending down um, and opening other cabinets, so I keep them right at the top there in my most used drawer. are the larger trays like big roasting pans big pots my cast iron skillet so i don't use those too much that's why i have them lower down but still nice to have them in the drawer okay below our sink i really don't keep too much fire oh, <laughs> you guys can't see just a fire extinguisher extra extra dish towels and extra bottle brushes so yeah, I try to keep that pretty organized. Oh, I also have extra trash bags down there, but I really don't go into this cabinet very much. Then in the sink, I have my favorite soap. If you guys haven't smelled this before, the peony one, by Michelle or something, so good. <laughs> 
Then I have our normal brush and then the bottle brush just because I don't like to wash the kids' bottles with like all the kind of gross stuff we wash our regular food with. This, I need your guys' opinion on. I don't know. I don't love it. This paper towel holder. We rarely use paper towel, but I just don't know. Here's another example of the hidden magnet. This one I've been holding. In here is actually my least used kitchen appliance drawer. And I like that because in our old home, we had to use the Lazy Susan corner cabinet for our food. And I just hated going into it all the time. So I just keep my blenders, food processor, extra baking dishes, things like that all down here. Um, immersion blender, handheld blender, that kind of stuff. The stuff I just don't use very often, um, but hopefully when we're gonna be hosting folks again soon into our home, I'll be able to take out some more of those uh, baking dishes. But yeah, I like having my least used stuff in the Lazy Susan cabinet. So over here next to the sink is my favorite spot in the whole kitchen. I call it our like morning breakfast nook. I'll show you guys why. In here is our coffee maker and toaster. And it's just my favorite place to come in the morning and grab a cup of coffee. So I have our little Nespresso machine there, my toaster there. There's a plug in the wall over there. So everything is ready to go. And then I just keep our mugs right there. And then over here is our, my Shabbat station, I call it. So I just have my challah board, candles, and challah cover and kiddush cup. Just ready to go right there. So it makes Friday night really easy. I always say Shabbat falls at the worst time because by Friday night, I'm like, I'm done. I can't do it anymore. Um, but having all the Shabbat stuff ready to go makes it much easier. Then above my little breakfast bar are just some like display things. I've got some teacups, dessert trays, more special teacups. I think that's our china teacups up there. I like having a place to display them. Then here next to the oven are these really nice pull-out drawers. I actually just lined them. Oh, this is really random, but I keep our, this is really random, but I keep my um, pot holders up here. I just like it. I know it's probably not like the place they were designed for. I'll explain a little more why I don't keep them right down there, but um, I'm really liking that. So here are like oil, vinegar, that kind of stuff. And I just lined these shelves with this like um, plastic stuff from the container store. I don't know if, so I don't know if you guys can see it, but yeah, so I don't have to worry about like oil spilling on the wood. So this drawer is probably where the oven gloves should go. But instead, I have my little coffee station here. Makes me so happy. These are just my Nespresso pods. I have decaf and regular. Every day I tend to have one regular cup in the morning and a decaf in the afternoon. So it's my favorite. And then here is our trash. We have trash and recycling right there. So convenient and nice. This is the oven. I just keep my um, Le set here more as decor, um, but in the winter I use it a lot. And then up at the top, I keep some cooking utensils and salt and pepper. And then over here, I'm using this for what it was really designed for, which is spices. So I don't have too, too many. I don't have the like fancy uh, spice labels. I know are trendy right now, but that's okay. Maybe one day I'll decant my spices. At the moment, I just like them as they are. Um, so yeah, that's the spice cabinet. This side, this side of the kitchen island is just blank. Okay, then over here is our knife drawer. This I got from Amazon. I love it because it fits in here perfectly. And then all the knives kind of just slide in. So this is the uh, knife drawer. And then down here is kind of, not too full, just some serving big bowls, our baking sheets, and our cutting board. Over here is my pantry. I am, um, I mean, I'll show it to you guys, but I'm gonna do a whole separate video on organizing it because it is a total disaster. Even though I bought all the home edits, like kitchen organization stuff, I haven't actually organized it yet, so it's just a big mess. I'm gonna do a whole video of Organize With Me. The refrigerator is also a big mess right now, but I probably will include that in the same video. Um, and then coming around to this side, let me Okay, so down here are all my cookbooks. Um, we do not have stools at our island. I didn't want them because I have little kids and I don't need them falling off the stools. In my old house, they sat on stools all the time and I hated it. So right now we have no stools and I'm not sure we ever will on this island. Um, but down here are all my cookbooks. 
maybe I'll put them in rainbow order one day. <laughs> that would be very home edit of me. And over here is our wine fridge, which is mostly a Diet Coke and La Croix fridge these days. Um, but I do have some wine bottles down there and some other things. But it's really nice, especially for hosting, to have like a big drink fridge like that right there in the island. And I've definitely been drinking more like water and juices because I have them all right there ready to go. I know that's silly, but somehow it's helped me. <laughs> And over here is the last section of my kitchen. This is where most of my um, serving like cake platters, more trees are kind of located. If you didn't get the idea yet, we love toast. Um, so over here is just like, that's the gallery wall, by the way, that's not done. Um, the serving platters, I don't know how else to describe them. Our Tadaka boxes, um, pictures, that kind of stuff, cake trays are all in there. And then this one has more. I also keep paper plates here and our everyday steak knives because any lower down, any lower down my baby will find them. So, <laughs> and then just more um, serving things, a vase, cake plate, and then the top shelf as usual is empty. And then here is a little desk area. It's got a little bit of our Rosh Hashanah decor my um, digital photo frame that I love. Alexa is back there hiding. Hi, Alexa. Um, <laughs> and then here, I just styled these shelves with some photos. This is our Disneyland stuff. We are huge Disney fans in this house, so we are so excited to hopefully go back someday soon. Um, and then down here, I keep stuff we like need to do. So right now it's our mezuzahs that have not been hung yet. I bought these two um, hardware to maybe change up in the kitchen. That's kind of what I was gonna ask you guys about. Let me know what you think. Right now the hardware is this. So just to be clear, I love the kitchen, I love the design, but I do wanna like put my own kind of stamp on it. So I was thinking of maybe changing up the hardware. But So maybe just the hardware. Let me know what you guys think of those two. Um, so yeah, so that's my like do something shelf. <laughs> then down here in the desk is really not too much. Some colored pencils, stamps. These are our name bubbles. I mentioned these in my back to school video. They stick on everything for the kids for school. It's so good. And then this is kind of a to do. It's my um, labels from the home edit from the container store for the kids uh, toy storage. So when we organize the playroom, I'll definitely take you guys along for that and hopefully be using those labels. Okay, then down here for the last section, this is my like camera stuff and batteries. I love this by the way. It's a little container store organizer brings my heart joy. Um, but my YouTube filming stuff, these are the pens that go for the family notice board. Um, labeling stuff, my label makers. The last one is really just empty. <laughs> it just has my um, felt letter board. You know, Instagram, gotta have one of those. Um, sometimes I keep my big camera in there too. But that's it. So that is my kitchen organization tour. I hope you guys liked it. I know if you love cooking and organization as much as we, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel to see more, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.